this man by the name Solomon kuna jambo ali observe Biblia zingine zinasema ya kwamba aliweza kuchukua nafasi akaenda kwa jamii kwa familia kwa wale ambao ni neighbors and there is something that he observed he calls it an evil ya kwamba Solomon akisema aliona ni jambo ambalo halistahili ya kwamba sisi zote ambao tuko katika ufalme wa Mungu tuelewe ya kwamba kuna ile position ambayo ni yetu kamili katika ufalme wa Bwana kuna zile ambazo ni baraka zetu kamili kuna zile benefits za ufalme lakini wakati mwingine kwa sababu either ya ignorance ama kutojua unakuta ya kwamba shetani anatuliduce anatuondolea ule uwezo mkubwa wa kuwa mwana katika ufalme being a son or a daughter in the kingdom anatuweka mahali ambapo we are like slaves because slaves tunajua hali ya slaves ni ile ambayo ni yashini sana na chetani hutumia binu gani na gani dio zili ambazo ningetaka niangalie na tutaongozwa na scripture moja ambayo iko kwenye kitabu cha Deuteronomy let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter chapter 9 Deuteronomy chapter 9 will be our key scripture siku hii ya leo here o israel you are to cross the, 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 the jordan today to go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than you are cities greater and fortified up to the heavens ule tu msari mmoja verses 2 again let's go down and see a people great and tall the sons of anakim whom you know and of whom you have had it said who can stand before the sons of anak verse 3 know therefore this day that the lord your god is he who goes over before you as a devouring fire he will destroy them and bring them down before you so you shall dispossess them and make them perish quickly as the lord has promised you bwana pewe sifa mungu alitokea wana wa israeli na akawaambia ya kwamba you are just about to enter into the promised land going over jordan to the other side you will you will you be in canaan and then anawaambia ya kwamba zile baraka ambazo nimeweka mahali pale sio baraka ambazo Uh, ni za kawaida or the inheritance or the promises ambao nimeweka mahali pale si za kawaida anasema ya kwamba mahali pale mtaenda ku dispossess nations greater than you are kwa hivyo kila mmoja umekuja kwa ibada ya siku ya leo lazima utayalishe mawazo yako kupokea mambo zaidi na vile ambavyo mawazo yako ilivyo na vile ambavyo ulivyo And this is what exactly God was preparing the children of Israel. You will dispossess nations that, that are greater than you are. Bwana pewe sifa. Kwa sababu kama Mungu angewapatia mambo ambayo yanasawasawana na wao, hiyo haigefanya any difference, isn't it? Haigeonekana ya kwamba ni Mungu. In fact, Biblia zingine zinawaambia ya kwamba the reason as to why I will make you listen, uh, dispossess nations and said is greater than you are giving you blessings ambao sio za kawaida si kwa sababu ya utakatifu wenu you see kuna watu wao wanapima baraka za Bwana na kile Mungu angetaka kuwapatia na ule utakatifu ambao wako nao hapo walikuwa wanaambiwa ya kwamba it is not because that you are righteous akawa anawaambia kwamba it is because of my great name ambao si getaka kuyaibisha jina langu ambalo ni kubwa Dio itafanya nifanye nyinyi wana wa Israeli you dispossess nations greater than you are ili wasiigiwe na roho ya pride unajua mtu akipata jambo ambalo tuseme amepata 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 jambo ambalo sio la kawaida wengi tusipo jiangalia na kusema ya kwamba it is, be, it is not because of my own holiness it is not because of my own righteousness it is because of the name of the lord tutaigiwa na pride Utakuwa unasema ya kwamba ah huyu amekosa kupokea kwa sababu yeye si mtakatifu. Si awe mtakatifu kidogo hivi aone vile Mungu atamuinua. No no, hapo walikuwa wanaambiwa ya kwamba kile ambacho nitafanya mupokee in your lives. It is not because you are righteous. 
May God help us. Praise the name of the Lord. Maana hiyo ndio huwa inarudisha watu shini. Lakini let, let's let's look at this scripture. Here O Israel, you are to cross over, you are to cross the Jordan today to go into the to, to go into these possessed nations greater and mightier than you are. Cities. Anaambiwa cities that are great. Na anaambiwa cities that are great and fortified up to heavens. Wanaelezwa the things that I want you to possess. Brethren, I pray that all of us will be will be the Holy Spirit will quicken us to get what what he want us to get today. The things ambao Mungu agetaka upossess siku ya leo ni mambo ambayo hata kama wazazi wako wagejaribu kukuwekea hazina haugeipata. Cities that are fortified up to heaven. Hawakuwa wameona mambo kama hayo. Lakini walikuwa naambiwa ya kwamba I want you to go into the other side of Jordan and possess cities. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini kitu gani kilikuwa kinawazuilia hawa? Jambo moja ambao tunaelezwa mahali pale. Wacha tuangalie chini. A people greater, you will fight a people greater and tall, the sons of the Anakim, whom you know and whom you have heard it said. Who can stand before the sons of Anna? You know why nobody could stand against the sons of Anna? Hapo ndio ningetaka tuingilie kwa ujumbe wa siku ya leo. You know why what what they were to see sons of Anna wanarudi nyuma? It is because hawa watu walikuwa wanaabudu miungu ya kigeni. So anybody agesikia kwamba tunaenda kupigana wana wa Anna ambao sio watu wa kawaida. They are hate. They are strength ile ambayo ya mwili ilikuwa inaonekana and the way of the your worship ilionekana kama sio ya kawaida and this is what they had to say ya kwamba hawa sikiza hawa ni watu ambao hatuwezi tukawa face they are saying it very clearly look at that scripture it says are people you see are people great that is verses 2 tall and the sons of anakim whom you know and of whom you have heard it say wale ambao mmeshawaisikia watu wakisema ya kwamba hawa wachaneni na wao hawa hatuwawezi mmeshawaisikia ikisemekana ya kwamba not your family mmeshawaisikia ya kwamba kama kuna watu watainuliwa not your bloodline mmeshawaisikia kuna watu ambao watakao ponya watakao pona not you mmeshawaisikia watu wakisema ya kwamba oh kama ni akina fulani ambao watapokea miujiza lakini si familia ya mtu fulani i want us to break those things in jesus name so that now we are able through our spirits and even our minds we are able to possess kile ambacho Mungu agetaka to possess siku ya leo hata biblia inasema ya kwamba wale walio toka misri from the house of bondage not even one of them was a weakling hakukuwa na hata mmoja ambaye alikuwa goigoi Bona sisi tumalize safari hii ya biguni na mambo tukifika biguni mpaka tuna watu malaika wanasema wa hawa kweli hawa kweli wamepigana ni tupigane na tumalize vita ni tupigane na tumalize na tushinde praise the name of the lord bana pewe sifa look at what they are saying you have heard it said mmeshawaisikia ikisemwa hakuna mtu atakaye simama mbele ya wana wa anak lakini nyinyi nitahakikisha mume sio tu kusimama mbele zao mume wapiga and you dispossess praise the name of the lord the land ambao wamekalia vitu zingine ambao watu hapa tunahitaji already ziko possessed so it is your time now to dispossess praise the name of the lord maana ziko already possessed in fact the vehicle that you want ambao unahitaji sana that you need in your life wengine ambao kazi ambao unaohitaji nitakuonyesha vile ambavyo huwa imekaliwa huwa already iko possessed in fact kabla asije soma bible vizuri nilikuwa nafikiria ya kwamba Canaan was a, was a vacant land ati unaenda unajikatia mahali unataka i, I was thinking that, that, that Canaan ilikuwa hivyo ya kwamba tu ukiingia tu Jordan mujiza umefanyika Jordan imepata kuna barabara uenda tu unajikatia mahali unataka kumbe it was a land ambayo ilikuwa occupied and fully occupied they had to dispossess praise the name of the lord na kama kuna watu ambao wanajua ku and to dispossess ni wale ambao wako na nguvu nataka watu wajishikie maeneo yao hivyo in the name of Jesus Christ the bible says that we have received power and authority ni ya nini tumekalia si uitumie hapa kuna maeneo ya watu imekaliwa but they are not ready to dispossess 
kutoka kwa zile nations wao ni waoga wana wa anaki walikuwa wengi ndio wameogoza kwa maloho ya witchcraft na ndio hakuna mtu ambaye agesimama mbele zao ugesimama walikuwa nasema utarogwa utarogwa wanabudua miungu ya kigeni na walitumia nini loho ya witchcraft all the anakites i want you to go and do the, your own research walitumia maspirit ya witchcraft but you see we christians cannot dispossess a nation like this cannot dispossess a town like this you see they are saying you will possess cities lakini hizo cities zimekaliwa i say you will possess cities cities that are fortified up to heavens lakini wa kristo tutaishika namna gani Mungu atusaidie sana. Bwana apewe sifa. Na riposa unaona kuna vifo za kila aina kwa sababu ya nini uchawi na uganga. Uchawi na uganga ambao umewekwa. Na wale hamuamini kuna uchawi, mimi ninaamini kuna uchawi. Bwana apewe sifa. Nimehubiri kule kwa slums, nimepata maushuhuda kama hayo hapa Kiambu na ninajua kuna salam kuna 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 witchcraft kuna walogi na hiyo ndio spirit ambao ningetaka kila mmoja tuingilie na ndipo sasa unaona kiambu you must be very careful mpaka ni ya kina nani unasalimia kwa sababu witchcraft ya siku hizi usifikirie ya kwamba ati unataka tu kuona mulogi amevaa magunia amevaa mpaka maguo imeraruka ati amejishora na, ma, na ma, nini hapa kama zile huwa mnaona za Niger unafikiria ni mulogi wa aina hiyo Siku hizi warogi wanavaa kama mimi suti. Yeye bola tu anasimama kwa stage kama ni gari anagojea. Alafu anaondoka. Dakika zingine unasikia watu kumi wamekufa kwa hiyo stage. Amefanya kiri ambacho walikuwa wamekuja kufanya. Wengine urogi umeendelea sana mpaka ya kusalimiwa mkono. Unaona mtu anakusalimia unakuwa confused. Unaenda kwa benki unamtolea pesa zote. All you think what is that? ya kukufanya tu upagawe katika mawazo yako and that is why you should not go greeting everybody where do abetu wanaguoko mwako maku kwanza biblia iwete mother that year guy timaga idia do it's not a mass you greet people si ujifanya tu wewe die die mugaidhani ya jorua everybody wakinya mujio ka jorua wengine utafuata hata hapa labda kuna watu walikuwa wali waliolewa na hiyo spirit tu ya witchcraft kwa sababu yeye tu ni kusalimia alisalimia mtu akamfuata mpaka nyumbani kwake mwisho akikuja kujua yuko na mimba anamwambia sasa lazima lakini ulisalimia mkono ambao watu wamefanya maloa ya witchcraft wengine hata watu ambao wanakaa watu katika muji kama huu tunasalimia sio watu these are not people wengine ni wengine tu ni, wa, ni kushukua tu mwili wa mwanadamu lakini ni maagent wa shetani may god help us uniambia tutafaulu namna gani Every kila mahali unaenda kama waliweka pegs hizo pegs huwa tunazikanyanga every time. Hii miguu ambayo tunaambiwa ya kwamba tutapossess nayo. Tutapossess namna gani na tumekanyanga kila mahali ambapo kumewekwa nini pegs za uchawi na uganga. Ukadhia hado kaigua uletwa ni hinya. Kumbe ni orogo orogo meta igoro lea. Na wewe na wewe kwa sababu haujui na jia ya kuinuka mambo kama yale. Inakunyonya tu, inakunyonya tu. Inakunyonya tu na nitakuonyesha kuna watu ambao labda katika muji kama huu ama kule huwa wanaishi mtu wanakuja because this is one of the signs ya spirits of witchcraft ulikuta ya kwamba mambo yako yalikuwa hapa lakini yamerudi shimo uko mwisho kabisa ilikuwa hapa lakini imerudi shimo i know of people ambao walikuwa milionaire lakini walirudi shimo kabisa mwisho wake hakuna kitu chochote mpaka unasikia na anakuambia kwamba mimi niliabiwa na mtu ya kwamba tutaona mahali utafika As simple as that. Wengine tunaambiwa mambo kama hayo tunayashukuria tu kawaida. Kumbe huyu mtu anamaanisha anajua kule ataenda. Na wewe kwa sababu labda na wewe ukiitwa kwa maombi ni ole mohodhia wa mahoya. Na we mudhire kwa ndo wako. Huko hako dhiraniki. And if we don't do meetings, wanafanya mikutano yao. Walogi na waganga wanafanya mikutano yao wakati wa usiku na wakati wa mshana. Kuna mahali tulikuwa tunaishi kule Jadhaine. Nilisimama siku moja kwa gagorofa hivi. Sikiza. Nikaon, nikasikia watu wanapita wakiongea. Lakini stima iko kila mahali lakini hauwezi ukawaona hakuna mtu unaona wewe unasikia tu wanacheka unasikia wanacheka lakini hauoni watu mpaka neighbor mmoja hapo alimshirika alitoa kaganiambia ah asubuhi usiku nimesikia watu wanapita hapo wakiongea nikavugua mlango na hakukua watu magedhie kesha noe wetu wakesha ali todogeo kagari ulogiru watu kosho 
Lazima tuangalie kama wanafanya mikutano yao wakati wa usiku, wakati wa mshana. Wakati la mwingine niwafundisha ni kuambia they are a bit thala kuliko sisi vile wanafanya mambo. Sisi tunafanya mambo juju tu. <laughs> Nimekuja ibada hii. Ha kigoni kia dhadhima. Anaenda keluta sadaka. Wao wako thala. Wao kama ni kuombea ni, kuom, ni wao kama ni kusema mtu afirisike. Wanasemaga into details. Kama ni kufanya mtu aharibike kishwa, wamfanye store ya mapepo. Wafanye mtu store ya mapepo, ni kishwa. Kichwa chake kiharibike. Kiharibike pole pole. Kiharibike. Unaona mtu alikuwa mzuri juzi, kichwa chake kimeanza kufanya nini? Amekuwa mgonjwa wa kishwa, amepelekwa madhali, amejaribu kutibiwa, lakini kutibiwa inaleta complication kidogo wanasema ni wazimu. Inataka hii watu wa familia waombe. Watu wa familia wakipelekewa wanasema hakujawahi kuwa na mtu wao aina hiyo. Na kutoka hapo mtu mzima mtu amesoma mambo yake yote yako mbele anakuwa nini anakuwa store ya mapepo anakuwa mtu mwenda wazimu Mungu atusaidie sana Sisi ukiambiwa uobe kisha watu wanaobea namna gani wanakuwa na alegi lagu kwa tata leo alafu atoelea maana haelewi wao huwa wanashika wanasema ya kwamba figo zao zisifanye kazi na diposa unaona magonjo yamegezeka sana hiyo magonjo si Mungu amemwaga Mungu hawezi akatuuba halafu atumwagie magonjwa. Na kama magonjwa yapo Biblia inasema the name his name is Jehovah Lava, the Lord who heals all our diseases. He is able to heal us. Psalms inasema he sent his word and healed the sick. Ana uwezo wa kutuponya, lakini hii ambayo hatuielewi. Ini nene la luta wa Mothel ushule tila luta. Hiyo hatuielewi ni kitu imefanywa mkutano. Na ndio tumekuwa tukijifundisha Unaamuka usiku na mapema kusema kama kuna wachawi witches sorcerers wizards ambao wameketi kuongea mambo yangu i set confusion in the name of jesus christ katika kaabi yao maana ukikataa kuketi kufikiria mambo ya maisha yako kuna wale wataketi wengine hata sura unaona na watu si zao ni kuwekwa amewekwa you must possess your light sura yako ya kamili lazima iwe kwako in jesus name Na tuko ikara ga ta mundu wa miaka 8 na we na miaka 20 hakuna kitu kama hicho. Lazima uprocess kile ambacho ni chako. Even some of us wambao unaona we, we, we are not strong. Wacha nikuambie wengine niko niko homio. Niko homio ni maro homa witchcraft. Na ni dare ga ko homio thine wale twale. Ko homio is kukoseshwa nguvu. Yaani unaona vile mtu anatebea kabisa ni kama ataaguka. Na ukijaribu kumuliza kwa ni uko na miaka migapi? Anakuambia kwamba mimi hata usifikirie niko na miaka mingi, mimi niko na 33. Lakini ukiona mtu vile ambavyo anatebea, unaona kabisa huyu ni kama nyanya. Hakuna kitu kama hicho. Lazima wa Kristo wainuke. Hapo wanaambiwa ya kwamba you will dispossess great nations. Ambao ziko na nguvu kuliko wewe. Lakini ujue si kwa sababu yako, ni kwa sababu mimi nimeenda mbele zako kama moto. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to see that scripture. Let's see that scripture. Iri watu wakaweze kufauru. Look at what the Bible says. Inasema hivi. Inasema ya kwamba. No therefore this day. I pray that you mark this for this day. Verses 3. No therefore for this day. No therefore this day. That the Lord your God. Is he who goes over before you. As a devouring fire. I pray that our God will go before us. Like a devouring fire. Every morning, unapo wa muka. Unajua ya kwamba, this is a morning. Ambo mungu wa menipatia. Na inasema ya kwamba that every, the masses of the Lord are new. Every morning, the Lord will go before me. Every morning, like a devouring fire. Praise the name of the Lord. Hivi kwamba hata kama ni kitu nitakanyanga, haita ni dhuru. Hata kama ni mtu nitasalimia, hata ni dhuru. Kwa sababu ya nini? The Lord is before me, like a devouring fire. May God help us. Nikuwa naambia chati ya lanchao. Mimi nimeenda nimepaki gari hivi. Hapo tu. Nikaona. Nikaona mtu hapo kama muenda wazimu. Nikaa muenda wazimu. And, lakini nikaona mwui ni kama kujifanya kama muenda wazimu. Nikaona posta moja imewekwa. Ya musician wa secular songs. Hapa Kenya. Lakini nikaona yeye vile ambavyo anavyo ifanya. Kuna mahali kuigi ya na concentrate kuliko kule kuigine. Kutobwa, tobwa. Haku ananiona? Gari kona tint. Kwa hivyo hageona? Mimi ni na muangaria hivi. 
ninashidwa huyu ni nini anafanya na akiogea anatoboa toboa hivi sasa unasikia ya kwamba there is a lot of vifo ambazo sio za kawaida nasikia fulani amekufa maana ndio ni oh timurogi huyu si murogi i mean huyu si mweda wazimu huyu haiwezi kakosa kuwa ni kutumwa ametumwa na ametumwa na assignment, uh, assignment moja aondoe mtu fulani na sasa amemuona kwa pisha pisha zetu lazima tuziombe hata wale ambao huwa unatuma yako kwa internet wengine unaituma kwa nini ana kolea modo ezira ya do matijo ya kashulia yake hado huko menyo ginya ni arogiwe paka warogi na tutaifanyia kazi may god help us mungu atusaidie sana lakini nimesema wetu sisi tuwakati tunapoangalia mambo haya kwa sababu washawi wanatumia nini vitu kama point of contact wanatumia mavazi manguo kama haya wanatumia nini nywele wengine wanatumia vitu kama viatu na diposa nilisema kwa church this is just a point, this is just a, a piece of advice when you are done with your clothes na hauzitaki tena hata kama unazipeana unaziombea they will not be used against your life hata kama unazipeleka kwa nyumba ya wazee mimi huwa ninapeana nguo kwa nyumba ya wazee hata kama unaipeleka wapi you pray upon your 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 clothes ya kwamba hazitatumiwa kinyume na wewe hapana tu sema ya kwamba ah E, ni katika kutenda wema ambao watu wengi wameumia. Ni katika kutenda wema watu wengi wameumia. Ya. Yeah. Na nguo zingine zako za ndani ukizikizikisha hapana hangi mahali ovyo ovyo. Choma. Sio tu unakuta kuna mahali tulienda kuombea watu na hapa zitu tulikuwa na nani. Nikakuta kwa kabarambara nyingine watu nguo za ndani zime, zime Simewekwa nikampaka nikauliza watu hapa guo zikiisha za dani wanawekaga hivi. Nikiona ona rogi huyu leta kokeabu. Maana hata hautaenda kutavuta bali guo, hautaenda kuangalia ile imefishwa hiyo tu iko kwa barabara imeshukuliwa. Maana guo zako zinakaa kama wewe. Hapana tupoteza vitu ovyo ovyo. Unashukua mpaka vitu zako nguo kama hizo unasema kwa sababu hapa jab, kuna dustbin ya kajo unaenda unawekea hapo. Guo yako ya dani. Nani anakuja hapo? mtu anajifanya shukula na ni agent ameitishwa maguo yote na vitu zote ambao ni point of contact more special za wakristo yeye ameji amejipaka mawero huku unaona unaona kabisa ni shukula kube ni agent amebeba hivi na yeye anapakua hiyo kitu ya kaju anapakua anabeba nywele zote zile ziko hapo pamoja na nywele na hiyo suruali anabeba ndio ameweka hapo ipasa unaona tunasukumiwa nini makansa ya huku Wengine tuna ni, ni, ni brai kiisha mtu anatupa tu kama haelewi. Niona tunasukumiwa kansa ya breast. Wanaenda kuongea nazo. Hii ma, ma, matiti ifimbe, ifimbe, ifimbe igiwe kansa. Na maana guo iko ile ulikuwa umefunga nayo na uliitupa ovyo ovyo. Huko kule adokea lazini ya honoki. Gai atotaidia to kere thini wale tole ya Jesu. Ona kama rati gaona yenginya mundu atigira igoti kanithaini. Utigira igoti ka utagetiga abia. Dotiga wale kanithaini. Otigira iko otireke atia. Mtu anaasha koti muzima, koti kama hii. Anaasha. Ukaliwa ndulaigwa we muhothoke inuka ukira uri ogukite. Hausiki ukiwa mwepesi kuliko vile ulikuwa umekuja. Koti muzima umeasha namna gani? Si hata siwache viatu. Ujawahi uona mtu amewacha viatu? Lakini unaona a a lakini unaona tu ameacha nini? Handkerchief. Ameacha handkerchief. Wa church. Hata mtu aweshi akaasha kitu kwako na ajifanye ameenda na ameenda. Alafu amekaa miezi na hapigagi simu kuuliza juu yake. Yeye ameisahau. Na we kuma higweyo kebesho kaji ya kudhiogua. Mambo maisha mengine unaanza kuenda chini hivi. Speak the fire now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of God. 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 Walogi wote na wachawi wachomeke 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 walogi wachomeke walogi wachomeke wachawi wachomeke wachomeke wote everybody in the church everybody in the church release the fire